morning everyone welcome back to wake up with glamma so i did just literally wake up this morning and um, got dressed brushed my teeth and instead of having coffee this morning this is my second day having lemon water because i hear that there are so many good 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 benefits from drinking lemon water it's good for your skin good for your digestive system, good for weight loss, good for just a bunch of things. I looked up 16 different things that it's good for. I just can't remember everything. Good for your vision. And I don't know what is going on with my hair. Maybe it's good for your hair too. It'll <laughs> make my hair behave. <laughs> I've got two viewers in here. Hi, four now. Um, so I will see if I can swing the camera around so you can kind of get a look of everything. This is my master closet. Here's the shower, <laughs> and I don't know what all it's getting. There's the tub, and yeah, as we come around, yeah, there's our sink. There's Adam's sink up there. Here's my sink right here with the vanity. This is my mom's old, old vanity seat that I brought from my childhood home, so I'm going to use it here at this house. Um, so yeah, now I've got seven viewers. Hi. So I've got boxes back here that I don't know what is in them exactly, but I know I don't have anything under my cupboards yet, really. Um, so I need to start putting things away, getting these boxes out of here. <clears throat> Olivia says, hi, Glamma. How was your weekend? It was good. Saturday I went on live. Yesterday I took a day off. Diana says, hello. Um, so right here in this spot, right, oh, right here is the, um, Right here, this door is the water closet, the toilet. <laughs> so right here from between this spot and my closet, I wanna put like a bench or a mirror or something there. So I need to get rid of these boxes and um, see what's in them so that I can start putting them away during the day. Rosalinda says, good morning. So I don't know how many comments I'll actually be able to answer because I'm, I'm gonna be back here just looking at things, seeing what everything is, putting them on the floor, and then after I'm done with the live session, I will go ahead and put them, distribute them wherever they belong. So yeah, I just thought I would, um, every day I kind of been trying to show you a different part of the house. There's the bedroom right there. <laughs> I need a longer, um, whatchamacallit, comforter because it doesn't come all the way down and cover my sheets. Rose says, hi, Glamma, hi. So I'm gonna step back here and go through my boxes and see what's in here. And then I have to go through my closet stuff too. Um, so, okay. Let me see. A lot of this stuff was hidden way in the back. Oh, I can't see. Let me scoot up a little bit so I can see the screen. I'm going to try your something. Let me see what it said. Okay. Um, so, like I said, I've been drinking lemon water, so that's what I had today. I didn't have coffee, and I feel good. Um, I'm hoping that it will help with the weight loss and my skin and everything else. Um, yesterday, what did we do since I took the day off from coming on live? Oh, you try my sock yarn in my tiny town. What? I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't understand that. It went away too fast. The comments just disappear right away. So if I miss it, I'm sorry. Um, you can copy and paste your comments. After this live session is over with, you can copy and paste it um, to the comments underneath the video in the channel so I can answer them then. I was also gonna tell you that after the video goes live, you can leave comments down below of questions or anything that you have for me that maybe I'll answer tomorrow. Don't leave them right now in the live session. Leave them afterwards in the comments under the video. Um, and that'll give me things to talk about with you tomorrow or answer tomorrow. Um, so yeah. All right, let me just go through this box because I need to get rid of these. Okay, so cotton swabs. That can go under my sink, yeah, cocoa butter, deep conditioning lotion, <laughs> okay, let me see, Epsom salt, Adam likes to take baths with, Ep with Epsom salt, it helps with his, um, with his joint pain and stuff, okay, oh, this is shampoo, let me put this over here for the shower area, this is my dispenser. 
mixer. Oh, I don't need this anymore. <laughs> it's my Shimmer Lights shampoo and conditioner. It's what I used to use when I um when my hair was silver, when I let it grow, when I let it all grow out. And in order to get a nice like lavender slash bluish hue to it, I used to use this. Have a great day. I'll look for this video later. Gotta go, hubby needs me. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Olivia. So I really don't need this anymore. Unless I'm gonna let my silver grow out again someday, but I don't I don't think I'm going to do that anytime soon. And by the time I do it, this won't even be any good anymore. So I think this will go in the discard pile. Yeah. And this Super Greens 50 Organic. I think this is Adam's. I don't know what it is. Some kind of nutritional thing. Mouthwash. This can go under our sink. Scrubbers. For the shower. Shower. Um, let me see. Oh, I love this stuff. Shea Sugar Scrub. I love it. Cammy says, hi, Glamour. Oh, someone left a long comment. It's going to go away. I'm a Glamour too. Love your positive attitude. I've dealt with many of the same issues as you. Oh, it went away. Um, I don't know who that was because the comment disappeared right away. Um, yeah, this will go in the tub area. So I'll put this over here. This is Adams. Adams. Men's 50 plus daily vitamins. Definitely Adams. Shower. Shower. Adams. He's got a um have a great day. Catch you later. Love ya. Love you too. Bye. Have a good day, you guys. Anyone who's not staying. Oh, this is a broken mirror, so that's garbage. Scrubber, shower, razors, foot scrubber. Oh, here's the mirror. Maybe I can glue the mirror back on, so maybe it's not garbage. There we go. <laughs> so I'll just have to fix this. Where should I put this? Make another pile. All right, so that box is empty. That's what was in that box. That one can go bye bye Okay, what's in here? Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, feminine stuff. I don't even think I need this anymore, especially after our conversation the other day <laughs> about possibly being in perimenopause. I don't think I need these items anymore, but just in case, these will go in the bathroom. Adam's things, Adam's, everything that was in the bathroom, we just kind of at the last minute just threw everything. The bathroom and the kitchen um, stuff is some of the last things that we packed because you still need them up, even up until the day you're moving. So these are just things we threw in here. My one piece bathing suit. If I have it all on the floor and not in boxes back here, I can't just walk by it. I have to actually do something with it because if not, I'll step on it. So if I put everything on the floor, I'll definitely put it away today. <laughs> um, my granddaughter's bathing suit was in the bathroom drying. Oh, a cute little thing that was my mom's. Oh, darn. I had bought this when my hair was silver to kind of make it this nice kind of bluish tint of silver, but I never used it, so I guess I can get rid of that. Um, blood pressure, arm cuff thing. Oh. Well, it's right here, but this one has one in there too. What the heck? Is this the one that was my mom's? And this one was Adam's? I don't know. Um, so let me see, what did we do? Yesterday, um, I had my lemon water. I, it took some getting used to because I'm used to my warm hazelnut coffee 
Um, someone says, have a great day. Catch you later. Love you. I know this is probably boring for y'all. Hi, Glamma. Paris, why? Yeah, Paris is back there sunbathing. <laughs> She's got, she found that little spot of sun and she's sunbathing. <laughs> oh, this is from when I colored my hair, which I still need to do my roots here. So I need to hold on to this. Okay. Um, that's Adams. I don't know what this is doing in there. Maybe my mom had it up in the cupboard or something, but it's a CD case. I don't know where that was, but that's something that's miscellaneous. Contact or um, camera wipes or glasses wipes or binoculars. Get, you get these at Walmart for like five bucks. So that's kind of like nobody's. It's just probably going to go in the linen closet over here. What is this? Beach trip and waving spray. That's mine. Let me see. I'm probably missing a bunch of comments. Um, ooh, I didn't know I had a brand new thing of this. Um, Ole Daily Moisture Body Wash. So that's going to go in probably my bathtub area because I already have one in the shower. So yay, I was thinking I had to buy body wash and a scrubber for that area and that for the shower and the tub. But now this is my old scrubber, so I'll put that in the bathtub. <laughs> and I've got my pink one in, the, in there. Um, let me see if I've missed any comments. Let me come close for a second. Let me see. Oh, I have a new phone. That's something new that we did Saturday after I went live. Um, the uh, phone guy came to the house and we didn't have to go and sit at the phone store for hours on end like we usually do. So he actually made a house call. So that was awesome. Let me see if I've missed any. <laughs> okay. So that was Diana who said, I'm going to try your socks with Karen Simply Soft. Don't have sock yarn in my tiny town. Yeah, I think Karen Simply Soft will work nicely. Just um, probably keep in mind to maybe make them a little smaller or crochet a little tighter because um, that yarn kind of stretches a little bit. Maridol is the one that said, hi, Glamo, happy Monday and unpacking slowly but surely, little by little. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing. And since I promised y'all I'd come on live for the next, well, I think I've only got, after today, only two more days of doing it daily. I want to try to do it on a daily basis, but um, I don't know. I, I might do it once a week. I'm not sure. Or maybe what I might do is not come on live every day, but maybe I'll make a morning video every day for Wake Up With Glamma um, and just let y'all know what I did the night before, what I'm going to be doing that day, and then just post it rather than going live. Because um, then I end up staying on for like an hour talking. And it, even though it's fun, and I still might go live once a week, but I might um, just make short videos and post them after... Um, on February 1st and on. Let me see. Maridol says, just an FYI, apple cider vinegar and lemon juice, very good internal detox. Yes, I know my spiritual father who lives in lived in Washington every single morning. He and his wife would have a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in their water um, stir it up and drink it daily and they are the health well he's passed away but um, they were the healthiest people ever never had a cold very energetic didn't walk around like you know like old folks they were just like just walking along keeping up with us and everything um, they were our spiritual parents but also our best friends they're the couple that we used to hang out with all the time Adam and I we are at the time we're in our 40s and 30s and 40s and they were like 70s 80s but they were our best friends and who we went out with all the time and had dinner with and stuff um olivia says have a great day i'll look at this video later gotta go cammy says hi glamma hi man Hi, Glamma. I'm a Glamma too. I think I already read that, but I didn't read it all. I've dealt with many of the same issues as you, so enjoy watching. 
So I enjoy watching you handle things. Oh, just figured out how to chat live. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, Nancy, um, it sounds like you have a lot of the same things going on as me. I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. If it's all the things I've been diagnosed with, that's probably what you're referring to. And I'm sure um, I'll be talking about these things in my daily, I'm gonna try to do it daily, try to make a video daily. Um, it's just kind of hard, it, because you, unless I leave a camera set up in one specific place, um, and I just go and sit in front of that place every morning, but to set up the tripod, set up the phone and everything to go live, it's um, kind of time consuming, but maybe I can, like I said, make a video and we'll talk about different things. I'll talk about different topics and then y'all can leave comments later. Maridol says, have a great day. Catch you later. Love ya. Roses. Hi, Grandma Paris. Watching. A bit woeful there. Yeah, she's over there watching and she's got to be in the same area as me at all times. Margaret Holiday says, hi, Grandma. Hi. <laughs> um, Sonia Riley. Hi, Grandma. She says, hi, you're in here. I don't think you've been in here since I've been going live, have you? So it's so good to see you. I know that, um, or maybe you have. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm so glad to have you in here. Julia Culford says, hi, Glamma, hi. Glad to have you in here again, you guys. Um, so yeah, I better get back there and uh, <laughs> empty out these things again, or empty out these boxes. Uh, um, oh, there it is, yay, I found it. It's my um, my hair coloring stuff. I haven't colored my hair because it's been boxed, and I didn't know which box it was, it was in. See, if I would have just stopped walking past these boxes to get to my closet, I would have discovered it a long time ago and I wouldn't have uh, had to be walking around like this. But before I dye my hair, I think I'll make a video on what I do. Like when I do want to make a beauty video and I haven't had time to color my hair or I haven't gone to the store to buy the hair color, I'll show you what I do. Um, so maybe I'll do that video before I actually touch up my roots. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna step back there again and uh, continue going through these boxes. Rose said, sorry, that last text should have read was looking a bit woeful. Love your house, very nice, thank you. Okay, oh boy, I'm rusty. See, I'm hoping that the lemon water helps with that too. <laughs> okay, oh my word, I don't think I'm gonna get through all. I think maybe I just do this box Save this one for later because there's lots of little things in here. Um, but this is the box I've been waiting for. This is what I use to color my hair because it's very, very close to my natural hair color. It's Revlon Color Silk, beautiful color. It's 3D color gel, ammonia free, and it's number 30 dark brown. So that's what I use on my hair to touch up my roots because it matches my hair really well, really, really well. Okay, so yeah, my hair is dark brown. Most people would say when they look at me that my hair is black, but it's dark brown. <laughs> so yay, I'm glad I found that. Um, Adam, ooh, cologne, is this cologne? Ooh, it smells good, it is his cologne. It's Bulgari, yeah, I guess it just says Bulgari. <laughs> I don't know what scent it is. Um, gauze for our first aid kit, so this will go probably in the linen closet in a basket somewhere. More gauze. You never can have enough gauze when there's an accident or something. One of the kids comes and scrapes their knees. This Adam's cologne versus the little home. Mm, yes, I recognize this. It is called, I can't see. Darn it. I don't know. Can't see what the name of it is, but there it is, right there. <laughs> I like smelling this cologne. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's my scissors. I've been looking for these. Put that in my area. More of Adam's cologne, Dracar. Vaseline. I bought this big old tub of Vaseline when I, um, I didn't want to wait for my silver to grow all the way out, so I ended up dyeing my hair silver from here down the day that I did it, and so I put um, petroleum jelly all around here so I wouldn't burn my skin or anything. So that can go in the linen closet in a basket. Emergency burn gel. 
oh, I, don't, I know why Adam got that. He was burning some stuff out at my mom's house back in the yard. He was burning all kinds of, I don't know, just junk back there, shrubbery. I mean, just things that he would, anyway, yard stuff. <laughs> and he ended up picking up this, it was like a cinder block or something that the little fire pit was built with. And one fell off, so he picked it up, not thinking, and he burnt his fingers. And he was holding his hand up like this for days because anytime he would put it down, all the blood would rush down and it would be so painful. So that's why he had that burn stuff. Um, AAA batteries, always need those for razors or shavers or whatever. This is the stuff that I used when I colored my hair silver. I did a bunch of research. Oh, here's my brush for my hair. Um, there's a comment, I'll read it later. That goes over here. So I did a bunch of research before I did it myself because I wanted to have some, I wanted to have a salon do it for me, but they kept saying it couldn't be done, my hair would fall out, um, or this or that. My hair was all the way down to here when I did it, and it did not fall out, it did not break, well, I'm not gonna say it didn't break off. Back here in the back, about this much hair broke off, and it just broke to like right there, but that was it, like this much on this side, and this much on this side, in the back, in the nape of my neck. The rest of it stayed long, and nothing happened to it. I took a lot of precautions so that nothing would happen. What I did before I, I colored my hair silver is, I got coconut oil and I rubbed it all in my hair to keep it nice and, and moisturized And before I did the coloring. But this is what I bought. I did a bunch of research and this is what I found that really worked on people. So this is L'Oreal Technique Quick Blue Extra Strain. Um, it says for on and off scalp application, but I took even more precaution and put the petroleum jelly around my skin. So you, you, I used that and I used 30 volume um, cream developer and da, 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 da. and then at a different time I used 20 volume cream developer so I, I did it a couple times so yeah that's what I used to make my hair silver and then there was another little box of something ah oh, what is it called I don't know what it's called but if you want to if you're interested in not waiting for your grays to grow out and you want to just go gray now um <clears throat> I made a whole hour long video on, I did the whole process on camera. I didn't know what I was doing really, although I'd done a lot of research. I, it was my first time doing it and I did it on camera. <laughs> so yeah, I've got that video if y'all want to go check it out. Skin So Soft Body Wash, yay, more body, brand new bottle. Was hiding behind the cupboard. Moisturizing conditioner for my hair. Um, what do you call it? First aid tape. Oh, this, oh, where's my, uh, I've got a little, um, you know, the things you buy for these wax warmers. I've got a little plug-in one that I used to keep in my bathroom for, um, for a night light. This is the top to it. I don't know where the uh, bottom of it is. Oh, this is the stuff I was just telling you about. I guess I have an extra one. Um, so you add the powder, the developer, that takes the color out, and then I think you use this at the end. Anyway, go watch the video if you're interested. It's a brand called Wella Permanent Liquid Hair Color, and I used 050 Cooling Violet, because I wanted, um, you know, it was the craze back, um, and it kind of still is. I decided to go ahead and let my silvers grow out when I did, because it was kind of what everyone was doing anyway. It was kind of like the new fad to go, even the young 20 year olds, 30 year olds were all going silver with a little blue tint to their hair or a little violet tint to their hair. And I'm like, perfect. I've been wanting to let my grays grow out so that I don't have to keep dyeing it every month, dyeing it dark brown every month. Um, so this is the permanent hair color. After you take your, your color out, this is how you put color back in. With, this and this. Um, so yeah. All right, that's the end. Stetson <laughs> Cooling Moisture, it says. That's Adams. Yay! Two boxes down, yay! Ooh. Paris, don't worry, mama's not gonna hit you.
hit you. <laughs> One more to go, but there's a bunch of little stuff in there. So um, I will do that after I get off camera. Ooh, my body wash. I always spritz my, after I get out of the shower, or, and I haven't been able to do this because I didn't know what was in this box. Um, I always spritz myself all over while I'm still wet. I don't usually dry my body um, when I get out of the shower or the tub. I'll put a towel in my hair and I'll just, and then after I'm done with it, I'll have it wrapped up and then I'll just stand on the rug and let myself um, kind of air dry and I'll throw on. Now this is something that I do, I do, I've been doing baby oil on my body with it wet since I was like 14, 15 years old because I didn't know what else to do. I just knew I wanted soft skin so I've been using baby oil and even though I know that there's other things that you can use now, I still use baby oil um, to this day while I'm, um, there's water beads on me, I'll rub in the baby oil and let it all absorb and then after that, that kind of like air dries me by doing that. And then I use some kind of um, body spray. This one is Bodycology and it's called Petal Away. So it's so good. It smells so good. Oh my word, it smells like flowers. Mm, I smell good now. <laughs> so that's where it's been. Oh my, all kinds of stuff in here I need to go through. But this will go probably in the linen closet too. This and all this stuff over here. I have to put the piles together. But let me come over here and talk to y'all a little bit, read some comments, and then probably say goodbye. Um, ah. <laughs> Hi. I'm rusty. Adam and I, well actually I call it, I, when, I, when you've been sitting for so long and then you get up, I'm like, oh, I'm rusty, I can't move. Let me see, see if I missed any comments. Okay, so Maribet Robel says, hi, hope all is well. Yes, everything's well. Margaret Holliday says, I seen a lady with gray hair. I have more gray in my hair then my natural color, which is black, I wonder how it would turn out if I just did the whole thing gray. What did you, what do you think, Glamma? Well, if most of your hair is already mostly gray, I wouldn't go through the whole, um, I wouldn't go through, go through the whole process because although my hair didn't break off, I am still feeling the effects of having, um, taken all the color out of my hair. Because my hair is so dark, I didn't do it the way I should have. I should have, what do you call it? Oh, bleach. I should have bleached my hair um, and then waited a month. There's Paris, come here. Paris, I don't want her to go potty somewhere. Hold on a second. Paris, where are you going? Come here, girl. Come here, pink. Paris. Hold on a second, guys. Paris. Come here. Come here. Oh. You have to get the pot down so your father. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> At least I know where she went. She heard my daughter down in the uh, kitchen anytime that someone is cooking something that takes precedence over being in the same room as me. So I'm sorry I disappeared there for a second. I just had to make sure she wasn't gonna have an accident anywhere. But anyway, you're supposed to bleach your hair um, and if, it's, if it doesn't come out the way you want it, you wait at least a month, bleach it, take the color out further, and if that still doesn't work, at least wait a week, but um, they, they recommend a few weeks, a month. Well, I wasn't gonna leave my hair orange because my hair is so dark. Um, when I bleached it the first time, you'll see, go look at the video, it is so funny because my hair looked like Bozo the Clown at one point, really orange, although his was red, but um, I felt like Bozo the Clown. Um, so anyway, because I did, I think I ended up bleaching my hair like three or four times, but I didn't wait. I did it and then the next day I did it again and then the next day I did it again. I think the last time I waited two or three 
days and did it the last time where I finally got all the color out, all the orange and stuff out. Um, so, and I'm so surprised that my hair didn't fall out. It still stayed really, really long. You'll see in the video at the end, you'll see my long silver hair. There you are, girl, you left me. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it if most of your hair is already silver. Um, because my hair was very dry. It didn't fall out, but it was very dry. See how it just stands straight up? Usually if your hair is healthy, it curves down nice and healthy. So you see this top, see like that, because this is all new growth. Um, my hair is healthy up here, and so it goes, it, you know, does what it's supposed to do. But over here, my hair just stands straight up because I'm still trying to get my ends healthy. But all this is all new growth. My hair grows really fast. Um, let me see. <laughs> Rose says, I think you should go live forever. <laughs> we talked about this. Vanessa and I talked about this the other day. I couldn't X out after the live event. I was trying to X out and it wouldn't let me. I'm like, oh boy, I'm going to be like that movie, The Truman Show, where his whole life was, uh, was on live. Are you in here still? Yes, you are. Um, so... I forget who asked me that. Okay, Margaret's the one that asked me if she thinks I sh that she should do that. Honestly, if you want to, try it. Just don't bleach your hair. And maybe you wouldn't have to bleach your hair out as many times as I did if you have very little black hair left. Um, but just so you know, my hair did get dry and I'm having to put all kinds of conditioners, leave-in conditioners in my hair to get it healthy again. So it's getting there, um, but I would just let it grow out naturally. And the thing that I'm telling you, um, what I told myself is that if I ever wanted to go silver again and didn't want to wait for the skunk look to, to be done with, um, is that I would, pro nowadays wigs that you can purchase are so realistic looking. So many YouTubers wear wigs. I would probably, when I go out and about to go shopping or to go eat, go eat or anything, I would probably put on a wig um, so that my hair looks like it usually does. But then when I get home, I would probably just take it off and you would end up seeing all the gray kind of growing little by little by little by little. But no one would see that if I wore a nice long wig. And they're so pretty. I've been wanting to get some anyway, just because they it would be fun to have a different hairstyle. Um, and then the other thing that I'm telling you, I'm going to make a video on how I cover the gray um, if I want to do a beauty video but haven't yet, you know, touched up my roots. You could be doing that because it washes off. Because I did that, I think, for Friday's video. I was tired of seeing my gray. No, I did it for Saturday's video, and I didn't want to see my gray. And so I, I did what I did, but see, it washes out. So I need to, I need to make that video, and then I need to dye my hair. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's see, is there any more comments? Rose says, hi, Paris. Margaret says, okay, thank you very much, Glamour. I'll just let my hair grow natural gray. That's what I would do, especially if it's already like 90% silver. Um, but what you could do is try that, that purple bottle shampoo and conditioner. It's called Shimmer Lights Conditioner, and I get it at Sally's. They're only a couple bucks each bottle, and if you want like a nice pretty lavender tint to your hair or a bluish tint to your hair like a lot of the 20 and 30 year olds have, it's just shampoo and conditioner is all it is, and it gives you a really nice pretty color to your hair. Um, yeah, it's very modern. <laughs> I know that back in the day when we were younger and you would see old ladies in their 80s or 90s or whatever, and they'd have like a little blue tint to their hair, um, that's kind of what's in right now with the young girls. Okay, guys, I've been on 34 minutes. I'm probably going to start saying goodbye. Grasa says, hi, Glamma. Made it today. Yay! <laughs> I'm about to say goodbye, though. We did some unboxing of my bathroom stuff, so now I have to put it all away, and I still have to empty out this box right here. You can see. Let me scoot it back so you can see how much junk is in there. Uh, see, there's just a bunch, a bunch of stuff in there. Let me see. Can you see? Bunch of bunch of stuff that I need to go through. So I didn't want to sit here on camera and go through all the little stuff. I went through a lot of the big stuff, made piles. Uh, so yeah, alrighty guys, I will see you live again tomorrow, 11 o'clock 
or so. I was a little late this morning. Um, Rose says, bye, Glamma. Have a nice day. Bye. So I'm going to try to get on again tomorrow and the next day around 11 o'clock Central Time. I live in Texas, Central Time. Um, and then after that, I'm probably going to just videotape um, my little morning video and then put, post it up there and then y'all can leave comments. Don't forget, if you want to ask me something specific after this video is on my channel, um, and I'm not live anymore, go ahead and leave your questions down in the comments and I will answer them tomorrow. Um, Margaret says, later Glamour, have a wonderful day. May God be with you and your family. And then someone else left a comment. Maribet says, bye, have a beautiful day. Bye, thank you so much for joining me here. I think I had up to 15 or 16 people here at one point. Right now there's 12. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. All right, someone says, Jasmine, Jazz says, good night, Glamour. So it must be nighttime where she's at. Over here, it's not even noon yet. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you. Bye. Mwah.